in this topic we will discuss about the hybridization technique now what is hybridization the production of a hybrid by crossing two individuals of unlike genetical constitution is known as hybridization hybridization is an important method of combining characters of different plants hybridization does not change genetic contents of organisms but it produces new combinations of genes the first natural hybridization was recorded by cotton mather in corn crop in 1716 the first artificial interspecific plant hybrid was produced by thomas fairchild in 1717 Hybridization was first of all practically utilized in crop improvement by German botanist Joseph Kollerutter in 1760. After Mendel, the hybridization had become the key method of crop improvement. Technique of hybridization involved ten steps: planning, parent selection, parent evaluation. inbreeding emasculation bagging tagging crossing collection of f1 seeds and their storage raising f1 generation the first step is planning the main purpose of hybridization is to develop a new plant variety this process take 8 to 10 years long time plant breeder must ensure the following key points which type of variety he want to develop which characters of variety he want to improve which type of disease and insect resistance genes is to be used the second step is parent selection the selection of parents depends upon the aims and objectives of breeding parents must have characters in which improvement is possible parental plants must be selected from local areas parental plants must be well adapted in the area for which new variety is to be developed parental plants must have high combining ability The third step is parent evaluation. Performance of parent plants must be checked by growing them in related area for 1 to 2 years. Following features of parent plants are micro evaluated. Adaptation, segregation, disease resistance, insect resistance, mechanical mixture and combining ability. The fourth step is inbreeding. It is essential for inducing homozygosity for eliminating the undesirable characters and obtaining inbreeds. The fifth step is emasculation. Inbreeds are grown under normal conditions and are emasculated. It is the removal of stamens from female parent before they burst and shed their pollens. It can be defined as the removal of stamens or anthers or the killing of the pollen grains of a flower without affecting in any way the female reproductive organs. Emasculation is not required in unisexual plants but it is essential in bisexual or self pollinated plants emasculation can be done by various methods such as hand emasculation hot water treatment cold water treatment alcohol treatment suction method male sterility or self incompatibility and use of chemical gametocytes the sixth step is bagging it is completed along with the emasculation to prevent uncontrolled cross pollination 
the emasculated flower or inflorescence is immediately bagged to avoid pollination by any foreign pollen. The bags may be made of paper, butter paper, vegetable parchment, cloth, etc. The bags are tied to the base of the inflorescence or to the stalk of the flower with the help of thread, wire or pins. The emasculation and bagging must be done before the stigma receptivity and dehiscence of the anthers. Both male and female flowers are bagged separately to prevent contamination in male flowers and cross-pollination in female flowers. The seventh step is tagging. The emasculated flowers are tagged just after bagging. Generally, circular tags of about 3 cm or rectangular tags of about 3 into 2 cm square are used. The tags are attached to the base of flower or inflorescence with the help of thread. The information on tag must be as brief as possible but complete, bearing the following information. Number referring to the field record, date of emasculation, date of crossing, name of the female parent is written first followed by a cross sign X and then the male parent. For example, C cross D denotes that C is female parent and D is male parent. The eighth step is crossing. It can be defined as the artificial cross-pollination between the genetically unlike plants. In this method, mature, fertile and viable pollens from the male parent are placed on the receptive stigma of emasculated flowers to bring about fertilization. Pollen grains are collected in petri dishes for wheat, cotton, etc. or in paper bags for maize and applied to the receptive stigmas with the help of a camel hair brush, piece of paper, toothpick or forceps. In some crops such as jowar, bajra, the inflorescences of both the parents are enclosed in the same bag. The ninth step is collection of F1 seeds and their storage. Crossed heads or pods of desirable plants are harvested and after complete drying they are threshed. Seeds are stored properly with original tags. The tenth step is raising the F1 generation. In the coming season the stored seeds are sown separately to raise the F1 generation. The plants of F1 generation are progenies of cross seeds and therefore are hybrids.